One of the things we love to do when we're out in the woods at night is to look up into the night sky and gaze at the stars. Today we're going to talk about five tips to help you learn more about our night sky. Hi, I'm Paige Hudson, and you're listening to the Teaching Science at Home show, where we're breaking down those lofty concepts in science into building blocks you can use in your home. We've all had those moments where we've looked up into the night sky and wondered at what we were seeing. Today we're going to talk about five tips to help you learn about the constellations you're seeing in the night sky where you are. My first tip is to research ahead of time about the area that you're going to go see. Because in different parts of the world, you can see different constellations. And at different times of the year, you can see the different constellations in the area in which you're going. You'll want to look in the library for sky charts or maps, or you'll want to look online. Or you can even download my favorite app, Google Sky, and it'll tell you exactly what constellations and planets you can view at that time of year at that particular time. The second tip is once you head outside to find a really dark spot. So lights from houses or streets or buildings can interfere with the light we see from the stars. So you really wanna head out into an area where there aren't many ambient lights on at night so that you can see the stars and view them well because too many lights really obscure your chance to see the stars and the constellations in the sky. National parks usually provide great spots for viewing the stars at night. Tip number three, once you're outside, use your naked eye or binoculars. So start by looking for things without the telescope. It's much easier to see a larger portion of the sky without a telescope. That way you can begin to locate some of the stars or the planets or the constellations that you're looking for. It also helps you see patterns in the sky. So you'll see broader and bigger patterns because you can see larger patches of the night sky. And then you can explore these areas with your telescope. Tip number four. The first time you go out stargazing, start with the moon. The moon is easy to see and observe, so it's great to begin with this celestial body when you start observing the night sky. That way your kids will have a quick win. So start with the moon and start keeping track of the lunar cycles. The lunar cycle is 28 days, so it will take a bit of time for this project, but it's great to start with learning about the moon because, like I said again, it's a quick win and kids can easily find it and easily identify it and they'll learn a lot about the different stages or, or cycles of the moon as they study it. And tip number five, keep an astronomy notebook. So just like anything else, when we study nature, we can keep a nature journal and you can create an astronomy notebook. This notebook can simply be uh, the date followed with whatever you saw. So you could put, hey, today is July 5th, and we went out at 9.59 p.m. I saw the moon, and it was a full moon. We looked around, and we were able to identify the Big Dipper and Orion's Belt. We even saw Mars as we were doing our night sky study. That's it. It's as simple as what you've seen. You can do this in a bullet journal style, or you can do this as sentences. It's up to you. But that night sky journal will help your kids to begin to track what they see and when. If they would like to, they can also sketch the constellations for further reference later on, just like they sketch the leaves and trees they're seeing in their nature journal. So as you plan your stargazing learning times for next year, make sure you research ahead of time. You find a dark spot. You use your naked eye or binoculars first. Start with the moon and you keep an astronomy notebook. These five tips should help you create a successful learning experience and have fun as you learn about our night sky. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Teaching Science at Home show, which is sponsored by Elemental Science. In addition to making these great tips possible, Elemental Science also offers a full lineup of the easy-to-use science plans for your home, co-op, or school. Head on over to ElementalScience.com to learn more.